So Max, one at a time. Yeah. What's wrong with clean following? A few things. Uh, you are, first of all, having to find these people. And it's very hard. So you might have a campaign with 15 influencers that each on average have 10,000 followers. Trying to find their audiences on a uh, panel is very difficult. Um, and then those that say they follow, they're financially incentivized to take part in the survey. I see, so they're likely to be lying in search of financial reward. We don't want to claim that, but okay. there is a bit of a shady foundation, right? I see, yeah. And uh, it is claim following. So it's, you, you, it is, you can't 100% trust it. It's not guaranteed, it's not verified. Yeah. And then ultimately, uh, following an influencer does not guarantee exposure to their content from the campaign either. Of course, I mean, I follow hundreds of influencers and I can't say with certainty that I've seen their content. Yeah. When it comes to um, forced exposure or simulated yeah. exposure, what are the issues there? Um, okay, also a few things. So it's a methodology that I think works really well in the TV space. Mm -hmm. uh, so you might make a campaign where you'll have one, two, maybe three creatives. And you can then have this exposure to these three creatives and try and infer the response to that. Maybe an emotion that it evokes and from that you would then infer, okay, this is the impact we could expect.